Okay, there's literally no shame in my game because yes, I am bulk recording. I am wearing the same exact outfit and I don't mind one bit because who cares? Anyways, in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my review on the Kaya backpack by Calpack and it's the laptop size. Um, yeah, I don't know if that was a good enough intro, but here you guys go. This is what the backpack looks like. It, it, I got it in the black color, obviously. It has this really nice trim, some gold detailing, and yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this backpack because I've had it for quite some time now and I am pretty much ready to give my review. So is this the best travel backpack? Is this, I don't know. That's why you're here, right? So all in all, I really do like this backpack. I got it for the sole purpose to travel with though while I was in Seattle and Vancouver. So here's the breakdown. It is not made of real leather, clearly, which is okay, you know, we don't mind that. But um, because of the material, when I was lugging it around, the straps on the back didn't have a lot of padding. It's really thin, as you can see, and um, you know, walking around with it for long periods of time with my laptop, my electronics, and just like all of my travel necessities was kind of painful. And especially when um, Ann and I went to Vancouver, um, we took the bus over from Seattle. And when we got to Vancouver, our intention was to pretty much take a Uber all the way to our Airbnb, but they don't have Uber there in Vancouver, you guys. And so we didn't know what to do. There were no like ride sharing apps. We had we were tired, we were ready to check in, Ian was sick, we were just like, what the heck do we do? So we looked up the address to our Airbnb and it was maybe seven, eight blocks away. And yeah, even though this does have like a, a trolley pass that you could stick to your luggage, I just didn't feel comfortable um, leaving it on there while we were walking that distance. So I had it on my back and it was heavy, it was uncomfortable. And even like while we were out and about and I had this backpack on, it just wasn't my jam. But um, I really do love it for um, the multiple pockets and compartments it has. So as you can see, it has this pocket in here. Just put like gum, a pen, some Advil, you know? And this pocket here is really neat because even though it has these it's like split so there's like a divider on in the middle here and then here is the first compartment so um i just put some documents in here my mail this is just kind of used for my everyday stuff um and i like how it zips all the way down um there's also some pockets here and then another side pocket in here a zipper pocket to keep your stuff I kept my password in there which was nice and the laptop compartment which is the reason why I got this um, is really cute it has this compartment here where you stick your laptop in laptop goes in here oops there's like a bunch of other things in here my wallet shoot Laptop secure. Has a little snap button to keep it super secure. Boom. And then still has room for a notebook. You just zip this baby up and you're good to go. Um, so that is pretty much the breakdown of this backpack. Um, I do... So as you can see, as you start putting things in, it kind of starts to lose its shape and kind of deforms and looks like that. That's kind of weird for me. I don't know, but it's totally fine. It carries all my things. But another or kind of downfall about this is if you were to overstuff this front part here, 
Um, I would, I tried to like put a flannel in here, a few layers and things like that. Um, the zipper actually like breaks open. Like the seam here would just like boop, like pop apart. And that was a little bit of a challenge for me. So when we did end up in Vancouver and then I just wanted to lug my stuff around in this backpack, it happened and it freaked me out because it's just like, did this brand new backpack break on me? I was kind of upset, but I mean, with the two zippers, it kind of alleviates that problem. So you could go over the zipper and like fix it. But that's just like a my experience thing. I don't know if it's just my backpack or if, you know, that's just a formality of this backpack. But that's my experience. And um, yeah, would I consider this the best travel backpack? No. Mostly because it's not that comfortable on the straps and because it does get very heavy and you know carrying it on your back for a long period of time is not that great and because you can't stick a lot in here i thought i'd be able to put a bunch of things in here and though i'm able to it just like i mentioned like the zipper would pop and that doesn't make me feel secure about my belongings but this does make a great everyday backpack so i use this every day because now that i work from home if i choose to work at a coffee shop or a co-working space or whatever just put my things in here pop up my laptop and my charger call it a day i could also just leave this on the ground and it has these really cool um, bottom studs that kind of just keep it propped up on the ground if you don't have a seat to put it on kind of like what i would do because that's what we do as women we put our bags and our belongings in a chair next to us just to take up space <laughs> but um I'm really impressed with the durability, like if it were raining or whatever, you know, it's totally fine. But my only gripes are, you know, the straps and the fact that the like side pops open, like that kind of sucks. But you know what, for the price point, this retails for $89.99 um, and yeah. So I do love the aesthetic of it. I do like it as an everyday backpack, but as a travel backpack, I think I'll be on the hunt for something else. But in the meantime, this is something I will definitely enjoy using every single day for working and also maybe like a day trip somewhere. Who knows? But as far as like long trips go, like that seven day trip to the Pacific Northwest definitely did not work out for me. But all in all, I would rate this like an 8 out of 10. And yeah, I don't know if you guys have any suggestions for travel backpacks or, you know, any travel necessities. I would love to hear your thoughts, you guys, because I don't know. I'm, I'm a sucker for traveling and adventuring and any chance I get, I would love to just like, you know, add things to my list and keep wandering around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Kaya backpack by Cowpack. It is the laptop size and my laptop is 13 inches, but it can fit up to 15. So just so you guys know. And um, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.